So we have written here the internal structure is having few important uh, labelings. You will see one that first one periosteum. Periosteum is outer layer or outer covering of bone. But periosteum is absent in epiphysis region. So in this region where red bone marrow is present, periosteum is absent in epiphysis. So where is epiphysis? This region. Up to this region is epiphysis where red bone marrow red bone marrow is present so this and this here periosteum is absent now <coughs> periosteum it is of two types or it has two parts one is <coughs> outer white fibrous connective tissue second one inner single layer of osteoblasts <coughs> periosteum has the uh, means uh, contact with blood capillaries it has blood capillary circulations because here in case of uh, osteons outside the haversian canal there is no blood circulation food material is just diffused into that area next so it has outer circumferential lamellae here there are outer circumferential lamellae we did not mention about osteoblasts these are osteoblasts <coughs> Few points regarding periosteum. So here we have written osteoblasts. These osteoblasts they divide by mitosis and they get matured, get converted into osteocytes. So where are osteocytes? So here will be osteocytes. So we don't have place. You can write here. Osteocytes. Osteoblasts mature to osteocytes. They divide and they get become uh, matured or adult into osteocytes. Osteoblasts in periosteum and endosteum, they both secrete matrix. But here, this is, here the osteoblast is producing only the osteocytes. But the osteoblast of periosteum, it is producing matrix. Osteoblasts of periosteum produce matrix in compact bone. In compact bone. Here it is whole, uh, having one trabecula is having many lamellae. One trabecula is covered by endosteum. The spaces or gaps are occupied by blood capillaries or blood vessels. So these are few points related to periosteum. So it has blood capillaries. Okay, I have written osteoblasts. Okay, fine. Second one, endosteum. Second one, endosteum. Endosteum is layer around bone marrow. 
endosteum in spongy tissue covers the trabeculae. You write one more point regarding trabeculae. One trabeculae. I have written given you the diagram previously. You can go through that. Has many lamellae. Endosteum has osteoblasts. Osteocytes. Osteo Classes. Next, lamella is also present that we have given here. Okay. Now, bone marrow is also called medullary cavity. Medullary cavity. Yeah. So, okay. since here we will write one point. Periosteum is supporting for the extension of compact bone. Endosteum is supporting the growth towards the matrix. And also towards this direction. So here, the growth of bone is bidirectional because of endo osteoblasts, which are some growth supporting structures in both endosteum and the periosteum. But I will write here. Since osteoblasts support in growth of bone and are present in both endosteum and periosteum. While I am writing these points or while you are reading these points, you please go through the labelings that I have given here. Growth of bone is bidirectional. But in case of cartilage, there is no endos or endosteum or endochondrium. There is only perichondrium in case of cartilage. So, growth in case of cartilage is unidirectional. Growth in case of bone is bidirectional. In cartilage, Growth is unidirectional. Here you can see these red color dotted structures. We can think those are blood capillaries which are supplying the nutrients. In the periosteum and endosteum. Osteoblasts here. Osteoblasts here also. Osteoblasts. Which are supporting in growth of osteocytes and creation of osteons or haversian systems. 